El Limpopo community is living in fear after five women were allegedly gang raped at a funeral parlor. The women are said to have been locked up in the offices and raped in the early hours of Sunday morning. Now this comes after the horrific gang rape of eight women shooting a music video in Kruger Storp. And we were supposed to be joined for this conversation by the manager at Wisani Burial Society, Rodney Madike, who unfortunately sent us a text this afternoon to say that uh, they've requested not to take any interviews at this moment as, as it's a difficult time but we we'll, are now going to be speaking to our reporter um, Katla Honyoni who has uh, been tracking this particular story for us. Katla Ho, thank you so much for your time this evening. It's been a very difficult story when one reads about the details of you know what exactly happened here. Let's start with an update. Mm -hmm. Have there been any arrests? Hi there, Bongiwe. Currently, there are no arrests following that uh, brutal gang rape of five women, as well as the assault of six other employees of Uwisane Burial. When we touched base with the police in the province, they indicated to us that investigations are ongoing. However, at this particular moment, no arrests have been made. And you have managed to have some, you know, discussions over the phone with the women who are involved here. How are they doing? You know, Bongi, we're talking to some of these victims. One gets a sense of the negative psychological effect that this incident has had on these victims. When I spoke to one of the victims, of course, we cannot reveal their name and details. They said to me that, the, you know, they were trying to get refuge at a church because obviously this remains traumatic for them. I also spoke to another victim of assault, uh, Mr. Benny Madizi, who is an employee at that particular um, funeral parlor, you know, and he recounted to us some harrowing scenes and details that are rather grim of, you know, what transpired during the early hours of Sunday morning that they were held at gunpoint going away and that, mm -hmm. you know, he actually witnessed one of the women being gang raped by a man clad in a barrel lava. And he said to me, Mr. Maditi, that he felt helpless, that he could not really assist and, you know, come to the rescue of this victim. And that the victim herself also saw that, you know, uh, Mr. Maditi, who is an assault victim, noticed that, you know, um, she was, she also saw him as this particular gang rape of the five women took place. Now, they were moved, of course, to another section of the grounds of the Wisani funeral parlor. And as the night progressed, you know, the men were asked to lie down on the ground. Of course, now, these are quite very startling and alarming and shocking details indeed. And when these victims, you know, when we speak to them, especially those who've been gang raped, you get a sense that they are distraught and this is traumatic to them. Bongiwe. I can't even imagine, you know, what 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 they're going through. But Katlaho, it's 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 getting towards the weekend. I mean, from you know today, tomorrow, it's going to be busy with uh, funerals for this particular funeral parlor too. How are they going to be navigating through this one? Because you spoke to some of the residents even, uh, you know, this week, and they were telling you how afraid they are, and even the funeral parlor itself expressing concern. Certainly true, you know, Bongiwe, the residents of this very small Leporokong community are living in fear following this brutal attack of the five women who were getting raped as well as the others being assaulted. I spoke to a group of taxi drivers who indicated to us that, you know, of course, they are quite uh, angered by the development, by the development in that area. And that had this maybe happened during the day, they would have, of course, gone to the rescue of some of, you know, the victims. They would have managed to get the situation under control. And there is a deep sense of hopelessness as well when one engages with the employees, particularly of Usani. You need to remember, Bongiwe, it is not only one funeral parlor that has been involved in this uh, incident. There is another funeral parlor just opposite this very small business area, you know, uh, Setubia Funeral Parlor and Two Stones, where one employee was abducted from that particular tombstone and then taken into his signing of course he was also tied now as the weekend approaches to answer your question SABC needs plans to return to Wisani uh, funeral parlor tomorrow to engage with the employees just to get the mood on the ground as to how are they feeling going into the weekend we know they are supposed to provide a crucial service of assisting bereaved families lay their loved one to rest and now they are also dealing with traumatic in, uh, events of their own and um the MEC yesterday for um, community safety in the province that is Poli Bushello 
also said that she instructed the provincial police commissioner that is to be had to speed up the investigations we know that police have urged members of the public to of course provide them with information should they know anybody who may have been involved in this and again yesterday Bongiwe, i managed to talk to an ngo called ekupum leni uh, restoration home that provides refuge refuge to victims of gender-based violence. You know, they were saying that the police need to speed up these investigations and ensure that they treat uh, incidents of rape that are occurring in the country, as we've seen in Kruger Stop, in a similar manner and mm -hmm. speed up the investigations. Um, Bongiwe. All right, Katla, a very difficult story to tell. And as you go back to that community, I mean, you can only imagine what you'll be met with tomorrow. But thank you so much for your time this evening. Do appreciate it. That is Katla Khodnyoni, SABC reporter.